I welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. I got comment on one of my previous videos. That was how to scratch with key like Acid Pro. And some people said that the V and the B is hard for them to play. So I found the easier way to go about it with the help of Loop Pro. So please if you are new here, kindly subscribe, like and share. So let me show you how it works. After that, we'll go to settings, to our mappings, and I'll show you the script. go to map and let's see the script of the keys so in our previous video we use tv b and spacebar also the effect we use key g and also h so in this video we are going to use the tv b n and the space bar and the effect to we will use delete key okay so let me zoom it so you guys can see the script well so we will start on the v okay so this is how i set the v to make it easier easy okay so play underscore tutor and loop underscore row 0 0.12 wall press and key 0 so this works as it will play the song and the loop row 0 0.12 wall press will apply on it so it will make it like like acid pro sound yes So that loop row will, will use this key. So let's go to the next key. Th that is key B. Play underscore tutor and key underscore move plus one. So this means to play the song and it will change the to change the song key and it will be it will be adding one one so it will be one two three yeah up to the number uh, the the time that you press it so if you press it two times so it will be one two three so it will so it will it will apply on all so in the end, it's play underscore tutor and key underscore move plus one and up question mark play underscore tutor and key underscore move plus one. So this means 
when you press on the key this action will start so after you release your hand this action will continue so the meaning of the hand up question mark is that after you you press and release the the key the action back of the that and and question mark will start okay first of all this action will start after you release your hand this action will also start so it's two in one okay and the space bar is play underscore tutor and key zero and if and filter 50 percent so this means that after i play i press on v b and n because the the v and the n have different keys so it will change the song key the original key so after i finish pressing all that keys i need to press space bar to bring it back to the normal key of the song and this filter 50% uh, means maybe I use filter on the song. So after I press on the space bar, it will take off like it will, it will, it will come default. Yeah. So the delete key to the delete key is uh, effect. So effect loop down active while press and loop 0 0.5 while press so this means that it's like the key so it will be key down and it will be using loop 0 0.5 so let's go to our our vector DJ interface and let me show you how it works so this is how the v work okay let me turn on my screen keyboard on okay so this is how the v works so the C the C is stop like I use it to stop it. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's normal as you are playing song and you stop it. So the V the V is works like this. and also the the B also work like this. You see that it is increasing the the key. Okay. And the end also work like this. You see, it's two in one. When I press it one, you hear two sound. After I release my hand, you you hear another sound. Okay. So this is how we go by it. First of all, we use the B and the space bar. So that will work like this. So let me let me show you how we are coming to play it. So like this. Okay, so the first step is space bar and the B. Okay, and the V. And the V and N. So let 
let me make it this way let me take it the bpm 93.82 okay I hope you know that the N is 2 in 1 so So like this B space bar and B and V and N Okay So like this So after you press on space B, V and N the last one will be also the space bar. Make sure that the V you get the sound well, uh, the sound well like this. Okay. You make sure you get the sound like this. So like this. So you yourself, you can play with it and get some skills, yeah. So you need to practice it, uh, practice it more, and you become perfect. Even get a experience more than me. Okay. So the last key is delete key, and that is the effect. Key loop down with a loop row. Okay. So this is how it works. <laughs> And this key uh, loop down. When you start playing the the song or the instrumental, either a cappella or what, the the particular point that you apply that effect, it will set a place to tap point there. So you can also use it use it to to use the the V, B and the end there. Okay. Because I had, I had the place to start to all that keys V, B, N, and also the space bar. Okay, so when you apply that delete key, that is a key loop down. So let's do it this way. Let me, let me look. Okay. <laughs> So you see how it works okay so i also use my cue my cues okay so that let me zoom it so in my mapping i i use f1 f2 f3 f4 for my cues okay 
so if you see that f1 f2 is highlighting on the keyboard it means it's the cues that i am using okay so let's let's do some freestyle <laughs> forget to subscribe like comment and also share thank you for watching